<clears throat> Harrison, you've been sanitizing your mini for 15 minutes. Almost done, Brooke. When dealing with carrion crawlers, you can never be too clean. No, it's plastic, right? Apologies, a rodent got loose in the classified lasagna vat again. <laughs> what do you mean by again? That seems extremely unhygienic. Do you want some hand sanitizer, Chet? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I just stood up and left, so I'm not contaminated. We'll go sit over there, just in case. Coming across the bridge of size now, GM. All right, let's begin the game. Harrison, let's start with you. What was your character? Sir Reginald the Redundant, Fitzwilliam the Third, Fist Bump McMahon Shake the Barbarian, a bad dis oh, you oh, man, you got all over me. And Princess Sparkly McTinklepants. All right, you nearly escaped the gelatinous cube last time when you descended into the forgotten catacombs. What catacombs? I guess they really live up to their name. I love that cube, okay? Did you know that they're the cleanest monsters of all in TND? I do now, unfortunately. However, your trials are far from over. As you stand at the bridge of size, it has a guardian, and it's terrifying. Is that a gummy guardian? Yes, it is the gummy guardian. He's got a very large sword, and he's guarding this bridge of size. He must be rendered nigh and vulnerable by his sugary composition. And fueled by an insatiable rage for... Hopefully, hygiene? No, sugar. Everyone, roll for initiative. Roll for initiative. If I had a button, it would say roll for initiative. A lousy one? There's no, there's no way. Oh no. Sir Reginald face plants into a puddle of questionable origin. No, 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 no. Puddles are a germ breeding machine. My mini was so clean. Chet, you're next. That 20. He gets a natural 20. Fist bump McMahon shake the barbarian, flexes his muscles and intimidates the gummy worm with a roar. Wow, the Gummy Guardian is truly impressed by your physique. But, you know, his sweet tooth compels him to attack. Time for some gummy diplomacy. See, Brooke, that liquid can be contaminated. I would like to trade my bag of chips for the Gummy Worm Sword. Oh, bribing the DM, huh? Uh, you mean a bag of holding? You have a lot of those, right? I've got a few of them. I've been asking you for one of those since, like, level two, and you just give it up for Measly Sword? What about it? Mm. He accepts your gift and he bails in peace. Sis. Well, here's hoping I don't get thirsty. <laughs> With the gummy gone, a portal opens, revealing a chasm, and I'm really sorry, Harrison. And you see the bubblegum behemoth. Did you use your bubblegum again? No, I found it on the way in. It's shocking how people just leave gum under tables. You don't remember what happened last time. Why are you doing this to Harrison? After that incident, it's no wonder people think that D&D is a Satanist cult. Guys, I won't throw up again, okay? Fear not, my friends, for I have the solution. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, I actually bought both of you guys one. But go ahead, use mine. Behold the cleansing power of lemon. Is this some sort of barbarian rage power? Oh, well, barbarian, let's see if you have enough fortitude. You rolled a 16, and that is a tart triumph. That's what I call juiced up justice. Now, I would like to cast Dispel Magic. Uh. Dungeon Master, if hand sanitizer can dispel 99% of germs, why can't it dispel 99% of magical portal? That's just what I'm wondering. <laughs> it's successful. Your spell goes off, and the portal closes. Congratulations. So we can cross the bridge of size, then? Yes, now you can pass the bridge of size. And remember, next week, it's onto the tomb of the Lost Barrow. Anybody want any leftover lasagna? Ah! Is he okay? He'll be fine. Uh, somebody get a medic? 